Tonight, the big reveal, the SU football team's new uniforms. And they come with a promise from Nike of a better fit, fewer grab points, and special features to help the players leverage speed. CBS 5 Sports Director Nico Tamurian is with the live via Turning Stone where that reveal happened earlier tonight. Nico. Well, hey there, Michael. It was kind of like a rock concert inside Lava tonight. Strobe lights, loud music. And then Dino Babers and the Orange came out with those new uniforms that are certainly a mix of being modern, but also paying homage to the past. It's something fans almost universal, at least on social media, are enjoying. Now, they're new in the sense that for the first time ever, right across the chest, they say orange. We've never seen an SU football jersey in history going back to 1889. Let's have the name on the front. But that stripe we see on the shoulders and on the helmet, that's something so many of us in central New York grew up with. And obviously the video we're looking at right now is those new uniforms. There's obviously orange, white, and blue for the jerseys and the pants. They're all interchangeable. The helmets are available in white and orange. And that's what the current student athletes love to have is that variety. It's one of the things that recruits love, being able to pick different uniforms for every game. So again, it's something fans like. It's something Dino Babers and John Wildhack like. And coming up in sports in just a few minutes, we'll let you know what the players say about their new digs. And right now, live, Outside lava at Turning Stones. The first time I've ever said that, Michael. I'm Nico Tamurian. You going to the club tonight or what? <laughs> uh, no, that's a hard no. Although Matt Hallsworth and I did see the buffet in there. We are thinking about that. Oh, you're dressed for the club. All right, we'll see you a bit later. Thanks, you don't Nico. want to see these dance moves, all right? Oh, come on. You're right, we don't. <laughs> An extreme <laughs> weather day. Thank you, Lydia. CBS 5 Sports Director Nico Tamurian is feeling the pull and the oomps, oomps, oomps of <laughs> Lava Nightclub. He's a turning stone. I can't, I can't even get through it with a straight face. He's a turning stone. <laughs> It, you're right, Michael, and it was really kind of like I said a minute ago. It was the strobe lights going, the loud music going, but it does kind of really reflect on where Syracuse football is right now, coming off that 10-win football season. Obviously, with this new era, they're paying respect to the past, but they are looking towards the future. So here at Turning Stone tonight, they did unveil the new uniform look. And again, this is a new era. Anytime as fans think about those jerseys, they think about that period of time. But really, as you look at these uniforms, it's all something we're used to. Three colors, they're all interchangeable, and that provides a ton of variety. But the stripe on the helmet, that's what we all in central New York grew up with. And the orange on the chest is new, but how about the white helmets with a stripe. We haven't seen that look since the 1970s. Now, the players modeling them tonight. How about them, right? They have to wear them. They can't wait to sport them in action. And the old saying goes, look good, feel good, play good. The team got to see them this morning. Uh, the guys that, you know, that was, uh, you know, take part of what happened tonight, you know, we saw them a little earlier. But, you know, the team, you know, got to see them uh, this morning. So, you know, it was, a, it was a great reaction. Man, I love the uniforms. The other uniforms were great, but these ones are just different, man. It's the uh, most updated uniform. You got to play. If you want to play good, you got to be wearing nice stuff. And this is exactly what I wanted. From the athletics department standpoint, this is all something that's been in the works for a while, from negotiating a deal with Nike and then actually working on new football uniforms. Now, SU Athletics telling us they heard fans complaining about not being able to read the numbers on the old jerseys. That was kind of a dark orange on a navy blue jersey, very difficult to read from the rafters of the Carrier Dome. They heard cries for a return to tradition, and that's exactly what SU does with this look. John Wildeck, the orange athletic director, saying this was a long time in the making, but the end result is something he is so proud of we're really really happy with it we really wanted to you know be play part and be part of our tradition and our history but also incorporate a few new things as well and do so in a way that's modern and contemporary so it's respect our past while looking boldly towards the future we've been probably worked on this for over six months you know not straight you know there were different meetings but nike was fantastic you know they visited with us in person we did conference calls with them i mean it was you know we really you know we really drilled down on this because we wanted to get it right and according to a lot of fans, they did get it right. Joining us now is Matt Hawsworth. And Matt, obviously, we were both in there. And again, we talked about this a minute ago, the atmosphere from that entrance video, Dino yeah. Babers in a really cool car. Uh, this was pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, this was a celebration in every sense of the word. And I might add, this is a celebration because this program is 
finally relevant again. And it's just been so long. Everyone was so excited to see Dino Babers. There was chants that broke out for Dino. The jerseys itself were amazing. Uh, and you see the looks on these fans' faces inside of the Lapa nightclub, and they were absolutely loving it. Everybody's so excited to see this team, and especially these brand new threads. No, no question about it, man. I think a lot of fans liking the old stripes on the pants, the shoulders, the helmet, you name it. And fans can expect to be able to buy these jerseys sometime in mid-August. But right now, for Matt Hosworth, I'm Nico Tamari, and live outside Exit 33 in Lava at Turning Stone. Neither one of you are going to dance, huh? No. What do I no. have to do to get a dance around here? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, do you want to? No, he does not. <laughs>